Andrew Senior you see you, so you do. Andrew. And this is our um, EC4760 final project, um, drawing real life. So basically it is mimicking a 3D printer. Um, that's our inspiration because we use 3D printing a lot and it just seems very interesting and um, it's fun to implement. So basically we have a menu here. And the menu is running on a PIC32. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so we can change it to various modes. So like if we do manual mode, um, we can control this plate. I see you can actually drag the plate around yourself, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, using a joystick. Uh huh. Or if we control the pen, we can make it go up or down. Okay. And then print speed, we have three settings. Um, we can see the IP address of the Raspberry Pi so that we can SSH into it. And the Raspberry Pi is providing images mm -hmm. and and doing some image work to turn them into uh, edge drawings, right? Yes. So there's a canny algorithm, edge mm -hmm. detector, mm -hmm. and then a re and then a uh, stroke generator, yep. curve generator. And okay. then we have various calibration going on. We can calibrate the base. Okay, so, so you bring it over to some known corner of the paper here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. And then we calibrate the pen. So we have to tweak it a little bit. <laughs> What's that have to, what does that do? Because we found that we actually have to apply quite a bit of a force bit of pressure to the paper for it to actually come out. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of people use magic markers for that reason, mm -hmm. but you get better resolution with this. Yeah, um, so now we can start running it um, from this. So you, you start running over there on the laptop, that signals the Pi, mm -hmm. which, sit, which sets, starts sending data to the to the PIC32. It takes a while to start because it's doing about the processing work. Now it's moving. Um, it's slow at the beginning, but it'll pick up some speed. Okay. So it's moving the, uh, I see the, the paper moving at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reproducibility is quite good. That one's basically on the mic. Is there any optimum path planning in this? Uh, that one we didn't do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's basically iterating through all the paths, so sometimes you see it going left and right, left and right. So it's doing some sort of recursion recursion based upon the, the canny edges that it... It basically has a list of all the edges and then mm -hmm. it just iterates through them. Mm -hmm. Canny itself is a recursive algorithm also, so... Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't believe that we picked the right threshold for this, so it's like somewhat noisy. But it's but, but it's putting in lots of da interesting data, which I'm picking up with the camera, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And we have a better example that we can show later. Well, well, while that one's drawing, show me some of the things you've already printed. Yes. So we have SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob, yes. And we have this. This Man. is the same. Um, 
This is actually the same image that we're drawing right now. Um, this one we had some problem with thresholding, so we can see all these dots here. Uh -huh. um, but that's the image processing is problem, not the okay. motor controls. Problem. And you and you have a Coca Cola logo that you oh, printed yes. out someplace there, right? Here. Mm. Very nice. And how are we doing here on this guy? He's doing well. So it's drawing the mirror now. Mm -hmm. So we can see that it's actually taking a different path um, from this one because uh -huh. we took time lapse and we know exactly what path it took. And it's doing two passes over many of the lines for thickness? Uh, that is. Sure. <laughs> no, it's actually because. Um, it's because we're detecting both. Inside and outside inside of the and edge, outside edge. Of an edge. And then that's just like one of the like, paths that the algorithm detects. Okay. Almost done. Almost it's done. It's missing the inside of the E and the F. Right, it'll go back presumably and get the inside of the E. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I can back Very nice. Okay, very cool. Thank you.